Hello MechWarriors, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of MechWarrior Online. Today guys, we are playing the Roughneck, because um, the Roughneck is actually one of my most favorite mechs in the game. And I will show you how. First in the build, and then in the games. Now the Roughneck is super interesting, especially the Roughneck 2A variant here. First of all, because it has amazing armor quirks, and secondly, it has amazing structure quirks. Look at that, base armor plus X, base structure plus X. So even if you're losing your first layer of defense, your armor, you still have a lot of internals that just hold the mech together and you just keep punching and you keep shooting. Use that mech as a tank and your team will be very grateful because they are not getting shot that much and you just soak it up. Up, shrug it off and keep blasting at the enemies. Speaking of blasting, we are doing kind of a splash build today. We have an MRM-30 and an LBX autocannon, LBX-10 here, on top of three medium lasers. That gives us some mid-range capabilities, but it's also quite nice to brawl with that thing. And again, that's the plan for today. Also, the 2A, the Roughneck 2A, has a ballistic cooldown quirk of... Oh my god, where is that? I cannot see it right now. Uh, there's missile cooldown of 10% and ballistic cooldown of 15%. So there's that as well. We shoot quite fast and we shoot quite cold if we don't go super crazy on the medium laser fire. So we have a very cold mech that can take a lot of beating, that can stay in the fight forever, damage-wise and armor-wise. And that's what we are doing. We are just throwing ourselves into the fray and just have some fun today. This is why, again, I love the Roughneck. You can do whatever you want with that. As you can see, um, the skill build follows the same idea. We have a lot of firepower here, so we're gonna use the firepower tree to max that out. Our missile nodes are on the left side. Our magazine capacity keeps us uh, sustained for the for the late game on the right side. And then on top of that, we, we have a bunch of heat gen nodes and a bunch of cooldown here. This velocity here, by the way, is optional. I don't know why I took it, but okay. We also have... All of the survivability nodes that are important, we don't have an AMS, so we skip AMS overload and that one point of reinforced casing. Actually, you could take that. You know what? I think the velocity is not that good as this reinforced casing here because, again, you just use your armor and when you're done with that, you use your structure. And uh, when only having structure and no armor anymore, you're susceptible to getting critical damage, which means your internals are getting destroyed, your uh, weapons, your heat sinks, your ammunition and all of that. So reducing that by... a Certain amount is quite nice to have. And on top of that, there's nothing more than rated deprivation and the value point, one point in the consumables here that gives us a UAV and a cool shot today. That's the build, everybody. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming. And if you have that, then don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, first game of the day. We are playing in the Turbaline Desert and we are playing... Hello, enemies. <laughs> I'm just getting some assists here. Assist is uh, when you get damage on an enemy and somebody else kills it. And that gives you C-Bills and getting assists early by touching the enemy with our filthy, filthy LB10 fingers. Uh, is how we do it. Yeah, right. Uh, but one thing is kill Baratul. Uh... Okay, wh whatever, whatever. You do you, I do my stuff. <laughs> okay. Uh, what time is it in Germany? At the moment, oh my god, is this a QA? and a It's 11, 11, 16. So 11 o'clock and 16 minutes. AM, by the way, AM. Anyhow, <laughs> let's go in and uh, do it. Let's go over here to Echo 5. Let's see if we can split up the enemies that are still in Fox 5. Oh yeah, Fox Trot, it's actually, it's not Fox, it's Fox Trot, but Fox goes a little bit easier. This guy is scary. Okay. Legs on the night star. He skip leg day. Can we can we leg him? I wanna keep him in place there. Yeah. So the night star is legged, Echo. Punish him! Punish Echo! Go for the legs! Uh can I? No, I cannot. Wow, this guy is actually sturdier than expected. Uh, I'm on the dragon in the back. Oh yeah, we have a nice, we have a nice firing line here, guys. Keep it up. Kill them all. Let's go for Delta. Close this target first. Delta, D or Ryan 2C. Go for the left side torso. Go, 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 guys. Cool shot. Definitely worth the cool shot. You cannot, you cannot ugh, hide there, dude. It's quite a messy fight that we are having here. Mm. This push in front of me was not great. And now we actually have to keep up with the rotation. Okay, guys, this has to be a rotation. Let's go on. Keep it up, keep it up. Echo 6, let's go into the fight. 
I want to kill the dragon. The dragon has basically no weapons anymore. And that's great. Now turn around. Now turn around, guys. Echo 5. Echo 5. Turn around. Let's defend this here. I'm on the whatever. Mad cat. Let's go. Come on, guys. Don't rotate any further. Stay here. Now we are building the firing line. There's a roughneck coming. There's Irby. This is so great. I love this mech so much. You can, you can do so much stuff with it. Give me that bushwhacker. Go for the bushwhacker golf. That's piranha. Yeah. Okay. MRM ammo is actually quite low. My... Oh, I got it. No, we got a kill. Not I. We. I. And I'm overheated. I didn't know that I wasn't overridden. So I was actually managing the heat quite well for the time being. Where is the light mech? Okay. I'm really trying to help here. I really do. I will not go in with my MRMs though. And now he's going for me? I don't think so. Okay, that guy's down. No! Ah! Nine and six. Let's go. Let's go, guys. If he's losing his side also, that would be amazing. Guys, don't go chasing the piranha. Why not? Why not? There's nothing more there. We have a piranha here and the light back there. There's no more firing line. This is D completely done. Damn, that's no problem. That's no problem. We have it. This guy, though. This guy. Uh, he's coming down here, I guess. Yeah, again, the, the enemy forces are relatively low. Now we have him slowed down because of the side torso destruction. And uh, I will still follow him, honestly. How are they doing? 43 and 90%. 90%? I mean, there's nothing to be afraid about. You are still in a very good shape. The piranha is uh, almost lagged. You can kill him. Got him. And this guy. An ice ferret. Now oh, look at that. I'm very low on missiles. I have one more barrage left. And five shots for my LD. So we better open them up. And my god, I'm almost out of ammo. Uh, last guy is an ice ferret. <laughs> what a freaking game. Yeah, he's the ice ferret. Is he, is he suiciding? Is he giving up? And we're out. I'm down to medium lasers. <laughs> what the hell? Hi, dude. I mean, I have a lot of structure left. I'm gonna pop a UAV even. And we keep him spotted. They had ice ferret. Ice ferrets are so damn sturdy. I wasn't aware, actually. Oh, God. How's the awesome doing? Really? The problem is that he is hot. Or he has the problem of being hot. Is he even shooting? Yeah, he is. Um, hello, Mr. Ice Ferret. I want to get his side also so that he's slowing down as well. Uh, yeah, we got that. And we got the kill. Um, oh, what a game! Thank you very much, everyone. Good game. <laughs> <laughs> mind blown guys, mind blown. Again, this Ravnik is extremely sturdy and has so much DPS from the shoulders. And if you add the medium lasers to the deal, uh, you can have a lot of fun on the battlefield. We got one killing blow, 11 assists. We got four kill most damage dealt with 871 damage done and five components destroyed. That's the first round, everybody. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alright, the second game of the day. We are playing the Rubelite Oasis and we are playing um, Conquest. So let's go over to the center, I believe. Actually, that's what I want to do. Let's go over to Theta and see if the enemies are trying to capture it. And if so, we're gonna try to prevent that from happening. So we have a good overview here. We can just shoot LBX and MRMs into the Theta spot if the enemies are trying to capture it. I mean, shooting people while they are trying to capture something stops the cap. And uh, yeah, this is what I was trying to do here. I'm glad that I wasn't the target of those large lasers. I'm super happy about that. Um, shall we push forward? Or do we wait here and build up a firing line? That's the question of the day. The enemies will most likely be in Fox 6, guys. We could just actually wait them there. Go to the left side. We don't have to run around in circles. Let's go to the left side, Fox 6. Oh, that's bad. Uh, no, I don't want to get hit by missiles. I mean, they are ATMs at super long range. They are not dealing that much damage. But it's damage nonetheless that I didn't want to take. My back is open. That's not good. It's a mad dog. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, so... Ooh, it's Piranha. Is that the same guy from earlier? It might have been. Oh, 
with the Blood Asp. Wait, he's been targeted by missiles still, which means there might have been a UAV, but there's actually none. Okay, so in this case here, uh, we are split because some people didn't listen. Some people just screwed it and they were like, okay, we, we go down the right side anyway because this is what we naturally do. And that's what we are getting here. Okay, we have a bunch of enemies here on Echo 5. Bushwaka. Um, awesome in the back. Yep. I gotta be careful with my with my ammunition and also with my heat. Making those snapshots against their their high ground dudes. With not heating all of my stuff is not really good. Oh, that's perfect, by the way. You want me? Come at me, bro. Come at me. I have armor, you have armor. And uh, now I don't have that much armor anymore. Okay. On the summoner right side, guys. Right side on the summoner. Kill it quickly. Come on, summoner. Okay, this is a problem. That Night Star. I have a feeling that we are running against the same people. Or similar people. Uh, is this a no, it's a mad dog. Okay, that's way too much damage for me. Uh, I mean, I can hold this for a while, but not forever. Uh, okay, guys, let's push down. Let's push down, actually. Let's go. Let's do it. Ah. High ground tricked me. Come on, don't get away. Ah, oh, crap. I have to maneuver, actually. Okay, we got him. Now for the mad dog, please. It's awesome, a shutdown. I don't care about him right now. Let's go for the actually scary target. I want a side torso. Uh, okay, I mean, we're gonna take this, right? If he's showing us back so nicely. Give me that side torso of yours, thank you. And now we are pulling back. The amount of armor that we have is so amazing. Okay, that is enough. This is actually really the amount of damage I can possibly say. Really? Dude! Can you kill the raven for me? It seems really like I was getting streamer aggro or something. Or YouTuber aggro. Like, why would a raven push out to me? Yes, I was damaged, but it was not reasonable doing that. There was the whole team. My whole team. Alright, alright, alright. It's the mad dog from earlier. We got him. That's the Vulcan. Also down. That's the l l remaining parts of the awesome. That's also down. Good job, guys. Again, the Roughneck is such a sturdy mech. That's a Black Lanner on top, guys. Black Lanner. On uh, Fox 6. Can we? You want me? Come at me, bro. Uh, we actually need to cap still. So going all in is probably not the right call here. All right. Ooh, what a game. Again, using every single asset that you have at hand. I can only reiterate it. Not only firepower, but also your armor helps your team so much, especially in a hot environment. The enemies were putting so much effort into killing my mech or destroying my mech that they were running hot. And in the meantime, all of my friends could shoot them and we were also sharing some armor. It was great, guys. This is really how the Roughneck is uh, supposed to be used and we did it today. We had one killing blow, we had 9 assists and 3 kill most damage dealt, 817 damage done with 7 components destroyed. That was your daily dose for today, I hope you enjoyed it and if you did then don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to support me go down below to the description, there is the link to my Patreon page and I hope to see you guys on the battlefield. Goodbye.